All right, so this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to connect your DualShock 4 or DualSense controller to your computer via Bluetooth to play Epic Mickey and Dolphin. Um, this would apply to pretty much any other game in Dolphin, but this video is specifically targeted for people who want to play Epic Mickey. Um, so first thing you're going to need is this program called DS4 Windows. Um, it, it's called DS4 Windows, but it will work with a DualSense controller as well. Um, so you're just going to want to download this program. And click download here. And you'll get the zip file, so just open it. And uh, this is a portable program, so uh, there's no installer. You just need to extract this somewhere, so I'm going to put this in my programs folder. and navigate to the installation folder and just open ds4windows.exe if you get this pop up here uh, this program is safe to run just click run anyway because of my existing settings uh, i did open in the tray here uh, if that happens for you just find it and double click um, so you can see it says there are no controllers connected and that is because we haven't connected our controller in bluetooth yet so uh, you're going to want to go to the start menu and click or in search Bluetooth and open Bluetooth and other device settings. So here you're going to want to click add device and since we're adding a Bluetooth device click Bluetooth. On your controller you're going to want to hold the PlayStation button and the share button. Um, and the share button is the one above the D-pad on the DualSense. I believe it's on the same side on the DualShock 4 as well. You're going to want to hold that until you see the light bar flash. And you can see here, wireless controller, it should show up as something similar to that. So click that and it will connect. So you can close out of this and in DS4 Windows, it shows up here. Um, the battery level, I believe, in DS4 Windows is not very accurate, so just ignore this 0% here. So there isn't actually a lot you need to do in this program. Just go to Settings, and under UDP Server, click Enable Server. Now, this information here we're going to need. So open up Dolphin and click controllers. So we're going to need to set up an alternate input source here. So make sure this checkbox is set to enable and click the add button. So you can name this anything. I'm just going to call it DS4 Windows. Oh, that's not a 4. And for the server IP address, it is already filled in right. 26760 already correct so this information might already be filled in if it's not just copy and paste the information from DS4 windows into uh, this window alright so now we can close out of this so now you can configure your emulated Wii remote so click configure and in this window under device change the device to DS4 windows um, it might vary depending on what you named it. So to get motion controls working, you'll want to go to motion input. And if you move your controller around, you can see some of this stuff here moving. So first, enable point. Now I believe Dolphin fills a lot of this out by default, but if anything doesn't quite look right, uh, just make it look like it does on my screen by right clicking and uh, selecting the proper item from the list. One other thing you're going to want to do is uh, set a recenter button here. I'm going to set it to L1. And basically, what this does is it uh, sets a center point for the gyroscope in your controller. If you were playing Epic Mickey on an actual Wii, um, the center point would be the sensor bar. But uh, in this instance, uh, the gyroscopes in controllers, if you shake them too much, they can become a little off centered. So. This will allow you to play more comfortably. You just hit L1 or whatever button you set it to. Personally, I like to just use a button for shake. So I like to set it to square. And so just set all of these. 
and you can test it here. Because we set up pointing in motion input here, you don't need to mess with any of this. All of this can basically just stay the same. It's basically just the buttons that you need to map. And don't forget to map your nunchuck buttons as well under the extension tab. All right, so now I'm going to test this real quick in game. So you can see here with recenter set to L1, I can put my controller anywhere and then recenter it. And I can aim at spatters run around and manipulate the camera at the same time. And it feels pretty good on a traditional controller. Um, you don't need to have a sensor bar and a Wii remote set up. You get full ability to walk, move the camera, and aim at the same time. It's really hard to map that on, say, just a 360 controller, so the gyroscope uh, really does help a lot with emulating this game. I hope this helped somebody. Uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit more editing than I was hoping to, um, but if you uh, liked this video, there are more Epic Mickey videos on my channel that you might find interesting. Bye.